Hello, this is Justin here and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm going to be showing you and explaining to you what the cage system is. Some of you guitarists may have come across this word and you don't know what it is and it doesn't make, seem to make sense, but um, I'm going to try to demystify it, to break it down for you. Basically, the cage system is a system of uh, basic chord shapes uh, and every chord that you play on a guitar can be played with the basic chord shapes. Uh, and, those, and the basic chord shapes follow the, the letters of the mnemonic. So it's the C shape, which you all know and love, the A shape, the G shape, the E shape, and the D shape. Now, it doesn't make sense when I play it all down here, but uh, let me give you an example to clarify what I mean. So for this example, if you want to play C major, you have the C shape down here, you have the A shape, a shape because it's A major but you pull it three fifths up so it becomes C. You've got the G shape which is up here. It's a G but you pull it up here so it becomes a C. You've got the E shape here and finally you got the D shape here. Then back to the C shape here. So you can see that with just five chord shapes I can cover the entire neck of uh, every C major possible. So um, with 12, 14 frets, you know that there are five possible chord shapes that you can make for every chord. This is useful because um, this allows you to play in different positions of the neck. Uh, let's say when your guitar player is doing something here, you can play something over here. So I'll just give you an example. Let's say A major. You play A major with the A major shape. Then you've got what comes next after the A? It's G. So the G shape is over here, which you can, uh, well, technically you have to fret, you have to bow over here to get it sound right, but there's a G shape here, that is the E shape here, that is the D shape over here, and then you have a C shape, which is actually over here, back to the A shape here, which is just over here. So again, you know, you've got 12 frets, 14 frets, and you automatically know where every A major is. So for example, if your guitar player is doing something here, and then you're like, man, I don't want to play in the same register as he does, and I don't want to be doing the same thing as he, so what can I do? Well, I mean, I can, I can always look at the fretboard and just pick an arbitrary place to, like a, another, at least another position higher than, than the open chord here. And I purposely did that to show you that I can use the, because of the cage system, I can know where to play um, my notes. So if you know your chords, uh, if you know your fretboard, you know your chords, you also know your scales. And if you know your scales, you can actually play solos over uh, the particular shape. So uh, that's the most useful application for the cage ever. I hope you found this quick tip interesting and useful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment box and I'll get back to you. It's Justin signing off. Thank you.